The Crusader prototype, a 155mm self-propelled howitzer, was created to replace the M109A6 Paladin in the U.S. Army's arsenal. Approximately 800 of these new vehicles were sought after. Testing for the new artillery system took place in 1999, with plans for the Crusader to be operational by 2008. However, in 2002, the program was prematurely terminated due to the prototype's failure to meet mobility and accuracy expectations. Notably, technologies from the Crusader project were repurposed to develop the more lightweight and easily deployable XM-1203 NLOSC non-line-of-sight cannon. The XM-2001 Crusader features a 155mm howitzer equipped with a fully automatic loading system. It boasts a maximum firing rate of 10 rounds per minute and the ability for multiple round simultaneous impact firing. This means that a single Crusader self-propelled howitzer can launch up to 8 rounds to hit a single target at once. While initially stated to have a maximum firing range exceeding 40 kilometers, the notably elongated gun, much longer than that of the M109A6, suggests an estimated range of around 50 kilometers. With specialized ammunition, it might even reach 60 to 70 kilometers, a range comparable to the South African G6-52 artillery system introduced in 2003, which had a 67 kilometers range with rocket-assisted projectiles. For ammunition, a total of 48 rounds can be carried, with a battery of six Crusaders capable of delivering 15 tons of ammunition in under five minutes. Manned by a crew of three, the Crusader employs an advanced battlefield management system to transmit and receive real-time information on the battlefield. In terms of effectiveness, the Crusader is generally deemed to be twice as efficient as the M109A6 Paladin. Its armor offers protection against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments, supplemented by an integrated active defense system. Additionally, the vehicle incorporates NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Propulsion is provided by the LV-100-5 gas turbine engine, generating 1,500 horsepower. Honeywell International and General Electric were tasked with creating a smaller, lighter, and quieter gas turbine engine for swift acceleration. The transport aspect of the Crusader posed challenges due to its substantial weight, nearly equivalent to two Paladins. Nonetheless, it was possible to transport two Crusaders via C-5 or C-17 transport aircraft. The XM-2002 ammunition resupply vehicle was designed to replenish the Crusader's munitions. This vehicle could autonomously transfer up to 48 rounds of ammunition and fuel in less than 12 minutes, all while being shielded against contamination. Additionally, the XM-2002 could be fully loaded with 110 rounds and fuel in under an hour. Despite its remarkable performance, the Crusader program was terminated due to factors like excessive weight and inadequate mobility. However, the technological advancements made during the Crusader's development later contributed to the creation of lighter and more easily deployable systems like the XM-1203 NLOSC, as well as other U.S. artillery systems such as the M109A7 and XM-1299.